we are going to explore the different uh, views displayed in our project browser and we are going to apply also view templates and modify the view properties okay so let's get started so again we will be using the sample project that the Revit 2016 provided to us so again if you want to use the sample project just to show you again so you can find it on your program uh, drive C program files Autodesk Revit 2016 and then you can see here the samples okay so you can just modify the sample here and in this lesson I am using the RME sample project okay all right so let's get started so you can explore views displayed in our uh, project browser by using your navigation wheel okay navigation wheel or the uh, steering wheel can be found on your navigation bar so in case your navigation bar here is closed you can always go to your view tab and you can go to the user interface and then you can select here navigation bar okay so you just need to tick that and then you can see here the navigation bar so you can select the full navigation wheel here and then you can use the pan orbit and zoom tools in the steering wheel to browse the 3d view like for example so you can use the pan you can use the orbit and you can also use the zoom in zoom out okay you can also view the steering wheel options by selecting this drop down arrow here and then clicking the options okay so this is the option of your navigation wheel or the steering wheel and aside from that okay so I'm just going to select okay so I'm going to select modify here to close my steering wheel so the next tool that you can use to navigate your view is by using the view cube again the view cube can be found on your navigation bar just this one okay so you can click and drag to orbit so that you can perform a flat orbit of the model in which the ground plane does not move uh, in the view. So let's say I'll select here the top portion over here. You can drag your view. You can drag the compass. You can select. Okay, you can select different faces on your view cube. And then if you want to go to the default isometric view, you just need to select here the home view. Okay, you can also select, uh, you can also place the cursor anywhere over the cube portion of the view cube. So you can orient the view to an angle by clicking the appropriate portion of the view cube and dragging while holding the left mouse button on your mouse. Okay. So I'll just select again the home view here to go to the default isometric view. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open the level 2 lighting plan. Okay, you just need to double click this. And then I'm going to zoom into this portion. Okay. You can right click on the blank space and then you can select zoom in region. Right, so just zoom in region and then you can pick two points, one here and then another one here. Okay, or you, ju you just simply zoom in your mouse uh, using your mouse to that particular view. So for this one, I'm going to open this section here. So the name of this section is section 18. So I'm going to open this section by selecting the section line right click and then I can select here go to view so to open that section now in this view you will notice that they already created here our call out so the name of this view is call out of section 18 so if you want to open a call out all you have to do is to select 
your call out, right click, and then you can select go to view. So another option of opening your call out is by simply double clicking the circle part here of your call out. So just double click that to open the call out view. And then from here, you can select the boundary, the crop region, and use the shape handles to expand the view on your section. Okay, so basically that's how you use your call out. Okay, so that's how you resize. Now for the next part of the exercise, I'm going to teach you how to duplicate a view in Revit 2016. So to do that, from my project browser, I'm going to right-click level 2 HVAC plan. So I'm going to right-click this, and then there's the duplicate view tool. So for this one, I'm going to use duplicate only. Okay. So notice that after you duplicate that view, a copy level 2 HVAC plan copy one was created. Okay, so let us rename this one. So I'm going to rename this view. Rename. Okay, so I'm going to change the name here. Let's say this is my uh, HVAC plan uh, return. Okay, so in this exercise, I want to create a view that will show only the return system. So I'm going to name it HVAC return. Okay, so this is the standard way to duplicate and create a new view. Okay, so after that, I'm going to duplicate again the level 2 HVAC plan by simply right-clicking again, selecting duplicate view, and selecting duplicate with detailing. Now, for this one, okay, I'm going to rename this to supply. Okay, because let's say, for example, in this uh, view, I want to show the supply system of this level 2 HVAC plan. So I'll just name it uh, HVAC supply. Okay, so from this point, you can compare the level 2 HVAC plan return with the level 2 HVAC plan supply view. Okay, so notice that the duct and air terminal tags are visible in our Supply. If you are going to zoom in, so you will see here that there is a tag of your dock. Okay, so there is the tag of your air terminal. But if you are going to open your return here, so you will notice that there is no annotation here. There is no tag. Why? Because when you duplicate this, you only select here, duplicate. Alright, so if you want to include the detailing, so you can select duplicate with detailing, which is what we just did on our level 2 HVAC supply, HVAC plant supply. So you will see that there's the tag here. Okay. So if you want to see all the views that you have opened so far, you can go to the view tab and then you can select here the tile windows or you can also type WT okay so you can see here all the views that you have open and if you want to uh, make all of these views uh, fit to each uh, viewport you can type ZA okay you can type ZA Zulu Alpha so ZA so it will make your views fit to your screen Okay, now for the next part of the exercise, I'm going to apply view templates. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize my level 2 return, level 2 HVAC plan return, which is this one. So I'm going to maximize this and right click, zoom to fit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply here a view template. View template, since it has something to do with view, you can go to the view tab and then you can see here view templates. Okay, so this is the view template. 
So a view template, according to the definition, is a collection of view properties such as view scale, discipline, detail level, and visibility settings that are common for a view type. So you use the view templates to standardize settings for a view in a project. Okay, your view templates only affect your uh, current view if you're just going to select here apply template properties okay so i'm going to select here apply template properties to current or, or you can also right click the view here and you can select uh, apply template properties so it's the same okay so i'm going to select apply template properties and then you can see here the apply view template dialog box and from this view okay so our view type filter is set to floor structural area plans so you can see here the view templates that you just uh, that the that we have in this exercise okay okay and one of the view templates here is the hvac return okay so if you select the hvac return so you will see here the property of that view template okay so for this one i'll just change the scale view to 1 is to 50 okay so meaning to say if i'm going to apply this view template to this current view it will have these properties like for example the scale value of 1 is to 50 okay so i'm going to apply this view template to this view so this is already set up to show our view here the return system okay so i'm going to select apply properties and then i select here okay so you will notice that your view now updates okay so if you are going to open the visibility graphics override okay to open the visibility graphic overrides all you have to do is to type vg victor gold or you can also go to your properties here and then you can select edit okay so it will open your visibility graphic overrides so again any changes that you made here it will only affect your current view it will not affect your other view okay so the visibility graphic overrides only affect your current view now if you take note of the filters here so they already created the filter here named mechanical return and mechanical supply and the visibility of the return is checked here okay so that's why all the elements under the return system is being shown like for example if i'm going to select this doc you will notice that the system classification here is return air if i select this air terminal so the system classification here is oh so they they also included here the exhaust air okay so exhaust air and return air is being shown in this view So let us check the property of this filter from the visibility graphic overrides filters okay so you can go to edit slash new to check out this filter okay so this filter shows the system classification of return so it includes all the air terminals as well as the docs here all right, so this is the property of that one. Okay, so I'm just wondering why is it the exhaust here is being shown also. Okay, so if you if I'm going to move my pointer here and then uh, press the tab, it highlights all the branch or the dock or the connected dots, and then as you can see, exhaust air here is selected. Okay, but that is not what we are trying to show here. So you can just hide your exhaust here if you want. You just tab. Okay, 
so you can tap twice one two you click and then after that right click you can hide that elements okay so from here on so what we are going to do next is we are going to right click our supply here and then let us apply the HVAC return okay so don't worry so after we apply the HVAC return view template in this view we're going to change that setting to create another view template that we are going to name HVAC supply okay so I right click this apply template properties and then I'm going to select here the HVAC return. So right now, we don't have HVAC supply, which is what we are going to do. So for the meantime, I'm going to select the HVAC return and then I select OK. Okay, so if, I, if you're going to open this, okay. So again, in this view, it will open only your uh, return. Now, to modify this, since we want to show here the supply, we do not want to show the return system. So I'm going to open the filter again by opening the visibility graphic overrides, going to the filter. All right, so this time I'm going to uncheck the return and then I'm going to check the supply. After that, I just select OK. OK, so so this is now your supply system okay so what we are going to do is using the settings of this view we are going to create a view template so that the next time you have another view wherein you want to show only the supply system so all you have to do is to apply the view template properties okay so to do that I'm going to right click this and then this time I'm going to select create view template from view okay and then you just put the name here so this is our H HVAC space supply supply and then okay and then it will open the dialog box okay so as you can see you already have here your view template so you now have return and then you now have the view template so I'll just select OK to close the view templates dialog box okay so view template is very useful so that the next time you have another view like uh, level 3 level 4 and then you want to show there the supply so all you have to do is to apply the view template that you created Okay. okay, so let us try to explore more our view. So this time, I'm going to open my 3D view. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom into this portion. So from here on, you can change the view properties using your view control bar. Okay, so this is the view control bar. So... Let's say, for example, I want, to, I want to change the visual style. So you can just select this icon here. And then you can select wireframe. Okay, so you can select that. So as you can see, this is now the wireframe view. Okay, you can select the other options here like uh, shaded view, realistic. Okay. Or other options available here so I just select the hidden view okay so another thing that you can do is to explore the view let's say I'm going I'm going back to level 2 HVAC plan this one okay and then I'm going to uh, zoom into this portion okay so I'll just zoom into this portion and then you can use another tool here by selecting temporary hide isolate so this is how you use temporary hide isolate so what you can do is you need to select first the element that you want to 
temporarily hide or isolate like for example this one I'm going to select so I'm going to select this tool temporary hide isolate so you just select that and then from here on you can select these options like for example isolate category now to check the category of the selected elements so before I select this option okay so if you want to check what is the category of this doc or this element you just need to take a look at the properties and then you will see here the category okay so this is how you check the category of an element so like for example what is this I select so you will see that the category there is air terminal so if I'm going to select this again, this doc, and then select this tool, temporary hide isolate, if I select isolate category, what will happen is it will isolate this element or it will isolate the category of the selected elements, in our case the doc. So if I select this, see, so you will notice that it will isolate all the elements under the category of doc regardless of the sizes or the type okay so as long as they are under the same category they will be isolated now to return back to normal view so you just need to select it again and then you can select reset temporary hide isolate okay so let us try to use the other options. So I'm going to select, select this. Okay, when you say hide, like, uh, hide category, it will hide all the elements under the, uh, within the category of that selected element. So I select hide category. So now it is hidden. Okay. So all the elements under that category is now hidden. You can also check out the boundary here. You see, it says temporary hide isolate. Okay, so reset again. Now, so I'm going to select again this element. This time I select isolate element. Okay, when you say isolate element, it will isolate the selected element or elements. Okay, so you can select multiple elements and then you can isolate those elements by selecting here isolate category okay so I can select this let's say I'm going to hold control to add an element from the selection so let's say I'm gonna add this air terminal okay so if I want to isolate these two elements so I select here isolate element so it will be isolated Okay, so I'm going to select again, hold control, select the air terminal. So this time I select hide element. Okay, you see? Right? Okay, reset. Right? So that would be all for this exercise. Now, if you think that this exercise helps you, why don't you hit the like button and you can also subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching the video. Okay, so I'll just close this one and hope to see you guys again on the next edition of Learning with Rich. Thank you.